I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. And this is the Family Showdown! Good evening and welcome! It is time for yet another insane blindfold challenge. Are you ready? Are you are you ready? No. <laughs> I am definitely not ready. I should have spent the last week touching all the board games and opening them up and looking at bits, but I did not. So inevitably, I'm going to think of the game and forget the name as soon as I recall it. It's going to be really exciting. And I can't cheat and look at chat. This is going to be hard. It's going to be hard. <laughs> you ready for this? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't oh, know. Oh, man. This is going to be exciting. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So let's let's take a step back. It's story time. Step back. So there was there was a uh, channel. I think it's Convoy Conroy. I always I always forget to look up the name. Anyway, they come with this board game blindfold challenge where you basically guess the game by just feeling that outside of the box, and then you go inside and mess with the opponents, and you get a hint, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. And uh, everyone did. Everyone that's done this challenge all through all the different channels. So. Kind of finished the middle of the road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one just blew it away. No one. Yeah, we all seem to kind of. Everyone's kind of in the middle. Yeah, not too bad, right? Well, Brothers Murph came up with a second challenge where you guess the game by just one component. So you're blindfolded. You get one component from a game. You test it, and then you guess the game. That's it. It's all it is. Um, so either you get it right or you don't. I think they did hints, <laughs> but they got a perfect score with theirs. I forgot about that. Although. I feel like some of the pieces were quite easy. That's, but, but there's my thought. If it's so hard, if you can feel every single component in a game and you can't guess the game, how can you guess it from one? Is it the fact that you're hyper focused on one item and it's like the most important, the most unique item from that game? I don't know. But mm, this is I, interesting. Okay. okay. I, I did not, okay. I, I, I don't think I went easy on you, but my gut tells me it's going to be harder than it seems. It's going to be harder than it seems. I felt the same way because when I went and pulled them, I pulled my pieces first for Hunter. He is going to pull after. We'll, we'll describe that in a second. But as I'm pulling my pieces, um, I was I picked I specifically picked a component that would is an essential part of the game and should give away the game. Like you, if you saw this piece, you would know instantly right. what game I it did is. The same right. Thing. Um, but then I had one game I pulled out and I thought the pieces were unique because of the combination of the pieces. And then every bit of those pieces in that game I pulled out, I was like, these are all in like 20 other games, but not in this particular combination. I'm like, I'm supposed to pick one piece. So I put it out. With it has to be a unique, game, right? it has to be a piece unique to that game. Otherwise. Yeah. And it was like, and, and so I was like, wow, this, I'm hoping that this stuff jumps out. Some of them will be easier than others, obviously, but I I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I, I, I can't wait to see how this goes. So, because the way we did it is we paired our lists, obviously, in secret from each other. She's got her 10 pieces. We're doing 10 pieces. She's got her 10 pieces ready to go. Yep. Um, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to do my guesses, get my score, and then you're going to have a little intermission. I, I created a little movie for you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. An intermission movie. movie for you're you gonna to watch. You're going to love the intermission. And once, it. once, while well, that's running, I'm going to scurry about and gather up my 10 pieces because I didn't want her, I didn't want to pick them at the same time like she, because if I go into a game and I reach and go for the piece and it's missing, I'm like, oh, well, she picked this game. Then now I know it and now her list is ruined. So I made a list of actually 20 games. Yeah. And so can... and once I take my part, I'm going to scratch off all the ones yep. I did yep. and then I'm going to pick 10, 10 new unique games. I did 20 off the off chance we picked the same 10 games. I don't think right. that'll happen, but I picked 20 games and I just marked them all. I'll mark off the ones I've done and then I'm going to scurry about and gather up all the bits. Rebecca's going to be uh, sequestered away in the other room and uh, we'll, I'll get all my 10 bits together. We'll bring Rebecca out and then she'll do her 10 guesses. It's exactly. going to be super fun. Um, someone was already asking about t-shirts and we'll talk about that at the end today. Um, so. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll mention yeah, it we'll, we'll mention it. We'll, we'll um, it so <laughs> that's it. So I guess it's time to it is time. get so started. What you need to do is, I think actually it'd be better if you sit in my spot. Because what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to pull out the pieces and I'm going to stick it on the green screen so everyone can see You're going you're gonna to push. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you're going to just front and center? Yes. So you have your chair? Yes. Bye. <laughs> All right. Here is your lovely mask, as always. 
I mean, blindfold. <laughs> All right. What's funny is I've replaced Hunter's hopefully there will oh, 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 Hopefully there won't be technical difficulties, so don't pull all your pieces out in the open. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. Because I may have to do camera stuff. Here's the funny things. thing. They were hidden in the open. You just didn't know where I had them. All right. All I can see uh, is there's a light to this side. There's two little lights there. But yeah, the lights are really bright. I can't but see anything. You're good. You're good. So I hid them somewhere obvious. Are we ready? Is this it? We're starting? Uh-huh. We're about to start. I'm not a drum roll or something exciting. <laughs> okay. No, I, no I, I'm sorry. I'm going to go. Right, you didn't set up a little thing. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put the piece on the green screen first so you guys can see set the piece. Set up a little thing. What? Huh? What? And then I'll hand it to you. Calm down. Calm down. Let's see. What would be... All right. I'll start with this one. I think I think this one. Here's the piece, everybody. <laughs> Good luck seeing that on the green screen. That's funny. What is it, green? Ah, oh, you just gave me away. I didn't, actually. Okay. This is your warm-up, sir. Oh, this is uh, Dragon... What's it called? I don't know the name of the game. Dragon's Fire? Something like that? Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. And for your information, it's not green. It's kind of bluish clear, and... Yeah. Not too shabby, okay? Okay, he's got one point. Are we keeping score on something, by the way? No, I just, I'll, I'll, once we once we switch over, I'll put my score. Okay, down. you're flicking them off to the side. I can tell which ones you got. Well, you can, yeah, put one pile, good pile of bad. I'm gonna get ten, so it's okay. <laughs> you're funny. All right, so let's do. Oh, let's do this one next. That's a good one. Um, this one also. I'm gonna keep it in my hand so you can kind of see it. You see why? I think. I think y'all see what that is there? Okay. All right, here's Schnooks. Name that game. <laughs> I should have done some kind of theme music or something. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's so different when you can't see them. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's got. Coralou, I can't answer that without giving away information to Hunter. But yes, to your first question. You can type it in the chat. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. What uh, is this? As for expansions? Mm, I don't think so. It's weird that it's got, it's got. I think everything's it's based. It's basically Everything I have flattish on the top and then it's textured on the I bottom. But something. it's got this part in the middle that's kind of. <laughs> it's kind of Good, glad you got caught on what was going on. It's before. kind of solid, a solid bit here. Let's see if it's sitting on a table. Is it? Oh, I'm lost. What is this? This is see. This is what amazes me. If if Hunter was able to see this, it'd take him like 25 seconds to know what game this is. But because we're taking away this one element, it's just amazing. What is this? I'm like cycling through the Rolodex of games in my head. That's the thing, too. When the Rolodex gets bigger, it makes it tougher, I think. So is this a... What is this? <laughs> What's getting me is there's just, there's just like this, this smooth thing on the bottom. Like you stick a, a, a meat, like a cube or something in this. I still got a spot to put something right here. Wow. Can you feel the shape? Yeah, it's like a, it's like almost like a, it's like a straight and it bump up and straight and then down another thing, and then it's got jaggedy bits all on this bottom part. It almost feels like a wheel right here. Like this is a four wheels. Like it's a car. Is it a car? It's not gonna feel like a car. Is it a, is it a car? Why are you laughing at me? It's cute. What car games do we have? Yes, Tommy, he could smell it if he wanted. I don't know how that would help. <laughs> Is there a time limit? That's a good question. Should we do? Are we I am not going to get this. Do you want to? Are, are we doing hints or anything? That's like, the thing I for was just a, let's do ask hints you. for a half a point. Or um, no hints. Kind of. I can do a hint. Well, I mean, do we, do we want to do that? Or we just say you're out of luck? I'm fine with giving hints. All right, half a point for a hint. Half a right. point for a hint. Oh, let's do, let's make it two points and one point. That's easier. Okay, yeah, that is much easier. Okay, so Hunter already has two points because he got it correct without a hint. 
Uh, okay, so my official scorekeepers online, please help us keep track of that. And uh, you ready for your hint? I, don't, I, I should know this. Yeah, you should. Look at this. It's got textures on the side, too. I can feel them. Mm -hmm. It feels like a little car, but the bottom doesn't seem like a car. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. What is this? I can't get it. I don't know what it is. Yes, Corley, you're correct on the score. Hunter has two points as of right now. He's about to get a... Uh... That's true, Hawk School. They did have an advantage because they did play all of their games recently. So, yes, they are familiar with it. There's a few games in our... I don't Rolodex recognize this at all. It has it also has like wheels on the bottom. Do you want? To yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Okay. Yeah, those are wheels. It's not quite a car. That doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. That's not a hint. Oh, it might be green. I mean, there's no, there's no. That's not a hint. How is that not a hint? All right, fine. I'll give you Tommy's clue. You get half a point. No, it's give me a real clue. <laughs> all right, it's, not, it's not quite, it's wheels, but not a car. I, I already knew that. That didn't help me at all. Choo choo. Oh, I would never. Is this one of the, the upgraded Ticket to Ride trains? There you go. But I would never. We haven't played that in like two years. That's not true. Pick a game we played recently. All right. Oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna remind. I'm gonna remind you about this later. I have a feeling, so I don't want to. No, hear you it. won't, because oh I picked gosh. all games whiner. that we played recently. All right, so Hunter gets zero. I would never have gotten that. All right, I'm just kidding. He got a point for that, so he's at three points. Should have done the one with the little giraffe sticking out of it. I thought that'd be too easy. I thought yeah. you'd get this right away. No. Again, it's really hard to gauge. All right, let's see here. What would instill more confidence in Hunter? All right, let's do this one. This one's easier for you guys to see, I think. I wonder why it had a, a, a solid as flat bit at the bottom. That's so weird to me. It's the train car. It's not at the bottom. All right, so here's this game piece. A warped straight line? How many? Oh. Oh, this <laughs> is a Sintra game, Zool. Yes, it is. Ding, ding, ding. See? How do you feel better? Okay, so we yeah, got... Yeah, because we played that one recently. No, we haven't. Define recently. The last year? Maybe. All right, so... Oh, such a butt. All right, so now Hunter's got, what, five, five points? Five points. All right, here. Should I make him whine again, guys? Make me whine. Come on. Oh, okay, all right. Let's make you whine. I like my, my, my brain. I like my brain churning like that. It's all right, here you go. What is this? Enjoy. What? What? Oh, I forgot to show them. Hold on for a second. I'll put it. Another game we haven't played in forever. That was not a stipulation on this, by the way. Oh, yeah, so. it wasn't. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay. This has got to be Santorini. It is Santorini. You make it sound like, man, see, here I was thinking, oh, these might be hard. Hunter's rocking these. All right. I would never have thought Ticket to Ride because I, I, my head for Ticket to Ride, I still think of the, the generic Ticket oh, to Ride cars. I always think of those train cars. That's one of the reasons I love that game. Okay. Here's the here's the piece for this one. You can kind of see I'm, I'm spinning it around. Can stuff. I see my what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. They can see what you're doing. Okay. Here's your piece. Let's see what? if you guys know what that piece is. What the heck is this? It's wooden. The heck? It's a big chunky wooden bit. Huh. It almost feels like a little building or something. Nathan, are you doing crunches every time you watch a video or what? I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> You're just doing crunches in general right now. It has a big chunky wooden bit. Like yeah, I this. think that is correct, Coralou. I, I think you've mentioned that before that you haven't. Yeah, it's definitely wood. It's a big chunky wooden bit. Did you guys recognize it? What the heck? You can put it in the chat. He can't see. <laughs> go ahead and throw your guesses in the chat. You guys can go hog wild. He cannot see squat. What is this? Are you picking another kid's game? Because this is a big, chunky wooden bit. Hoser, you are correct. Nicely done. You recognize it now that you guys see Hoser's answer? 
the heck is this? <laughs> Picking some obscure games. I don't have any clue what this is. See, now I thought this would jump out at you. No. No clue. Yeah, okay, good. I was I thought you were, I thought you had said that before, Coralu, so. This feels like something out of a kid's game. Because it's so big and wooden and chunky. Wait a, wait a second. No. Do you want outside, lady? Of course you do. You little ornery bugger. Okay, come here. There you go. Go play. I'm trying to cycle through children's game now. I don't yeah, I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Oh, what happened to Dune Imperium this weekend? Um, our computer cannot handle having both cameras at once, and it just started causing them to just do a cascade crash over and over and over until it, like, crashed the computer. So we had to give up on it. And you can't give me a hint, children's game. So I need... No, I wouldn't give you that hint. You ready for your hint? Yes. Based off of a book. Based off of a book. <laughs> it's wood, it's wood, it's better than bad, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my head, Zerus. <laughs> Why are you picking obscure children's games? You like doing pieces for yourself, not me. No. I have no clue. Absolutely no clue. Pillars of the Earth. Ah! Uh... <laughs> now you know what it is, don't you? Yeah. It's dumb. the top of the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. I didn't say anything about it being based off of a kid's book. You were the one saying that. And All right, no points awarded for that one. So I'm still at five? Man, I'm doing horrible. I think horrible. you're at, let's see, two, four. No, you're at seven. I think I'm making your, made yours too easy now. I made... Nah, I suck at this. All right. Let's see here. Let's do this one next. All right. Yeah, see? I think I think that uh, honestly that I'm taking a lot of time feeling these. I think if you don't get it within the first five seconds, you're not gonna know what it is. I don't know about that. It depends on your assumptions you're making. All right, so here's the next one, folks. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's space base. Yeah, see. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it felt like he knows. <laughs> he knows. It felt like it was a generic card until I, I actually felt the texture of it. See, have a little faith, jeez. <laughs> faith, faith, faith. I should have made the club. Nessa mentioned it, and I was like, yeah, I probably should have gotten the UG Tech club out. Yeah, I would just swing it at you. Yeah, uh huh. All right. This is interesting. This is very, it's a, it's a completely different perspective on games. You don't think about. Yeah, exactly. You don't think about this. I'm sticking to my, my but belief. But there's a whole demographic of people that this is how they I, know I'm, the I'm, game. I, I'm, I'm sticking to my assumption that if you don't know it within the first 10 seconds, you're not going to know it. It's possible. All right, here's your next piece. Again, I made sure they were pieces that are central. Oh, to the this game. is uh, one of the monsters from Rampage. See, I made this too easy. Terror and Meeple City. Yes. See, I made That's this right. too hold easy on, for It would have been more thematic if you'd grabbed the train car, but yes, that works. <laughs> Dork. Okay. What am I at? Nine? Nine. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Oh, this will be fun. All right. Yeah, I, I, I have the strong belief that I don't know in the first few seconds I'm not going to know it. Okay, there's the piece all. You guys see the piece? Okay. Yeah, Hunter's at 11. That's not too shabby. Uh -oh. oh, it's a dome from Underwater City. I should have picked it from the other game that had similar things. Yes, you are correct. Correct. I said right and correct at the same time. You're correct. Too, too correct. Yeah, I, 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 was. I think I'm curious to see if you're going to be the same way that you, if you know it like instantly. I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm not that good at these. Because I think you I think for at least me, if I don't know it immediately, my brain goes off on this weird tangent that's never going to bring me back to what the piece is. I will say one thing stupid that I did is I tended to pick things that were green because I was like Hunter Green, ha ha ha, and then I realized after I, everything was pulled, never nothing's going to work on the green nothing screen. Nothing was going to work on the green screen, and I'm like that keeps it exciting for everybody. Hopefully yeah. they can still see. That. They can still see it. I'm making sure. What? Is this. But yeah, it was funny because I grabbed like that clear ring from Dragon's Breath. I had no idea that that wouldn't show up as well, but duh, it's semi-transparent, right? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 
what? It's a camel from Camel Up. Very good. See, I thought you might struggle with that one. I did at first because I had it upside down. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> That's the other thing. <laughs> and then I is turned it over. You, I'm like, oh, okay. Does yeah. it seem easy for you to determine right side up and upside down? Mm, just, it just, this didn't make any sense to me because okay. I set it down. I'm like, okay, it's tilted weird. It's not, okay. So it's got to be this okay. way because it stands this way. Yeah. And then once I figured that out, oh, it got a little hump yeah. right here for the camel. Yeah. 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 Okay. You'll never be able to stand again, Nathan. <laughs> Okay. We're almost done. This right? is the last one. This is the last one, all. Okay. There's the piece. You guys know what this is from. Again, I tried to pick, I didn't pick super hard ones because I thought. I can't believe I didn't get Pillars of the Earth now. I should have known that one. See, that's, that's the thing with this, though. You're not. We use our site for so much of this. Uh, I think that makes it. Wow. There, this is Good a, job, Hoser. This is in several games. I, this, there is a lot of pieces that are this very similar shape. Wow. I'd like to see the list of those games. Well, I don't want to say some of them because I... Anyway. I think... I think... Hoser, you're on fire today. Man. I'm thinking this is... Uh, this is one of the... Um, yeah, I'm not certain. I may, yeah. I may, I may miss this because there's several that are this shape, but I think it's the uh, little buildings from Five Tribes. Yes, I will give you that. It's the palace, and no, I don't know any games that have that piece shape of the palace. It's a, it's Five Tribes, right? Five Tribes. It is Five Tribes. You got the game right. Yeah. You kept saying there's other. What other games have I'm that? I'm not going to say. That's a lie. I'm not going to say. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, um, that's another thing. Is that it? A lot of those that's pieces. it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. You did pretty good. You got 17 out of 20 points. I'd say that's really good. So I missed Pillars of Earth completely. I needed a hint for Ticket to Ride. Yeah, that's okay. really good. But see, I, that's... Yeah. I, I tried to pick pieces that, like Zara said, I've seen that. I've never played it, but he knew what game it was. You know, I tried to pick pieces like that, and apparently I made it too easy for you. So next time... No, I, honestly, I, 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 honestly, I think if you, once you pick a unique piece from the game, it makes it really easy to, to guess it because... You're, like I said, when you're digging through the box with all the components, what's the odds of coming across that one, that one, piece, that right. one unique piece that's going to tell you what the game is, right? Well, you're is, not spending right? that time on the one piece either, right? That makes sense. It, so. it focuses you in. That's funny. I, I, I didn't <laughs> I realize, I, I, I completely didn't didn't remember it being this jagged, like pointed at the mm -hmm. top. See how pointed? Yeah. I don't know good. if you guys can see it. It's, yeah, they saw it's it on very, the It's screen. very pointed at the top. I thought it was more. Yeah, I put uh, everything I, on the green screen first so they could see it. And it's funny, you did pick a lot of green things in our show. I up. did, because I was like, hee, 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 I'll pick a green train car. Hee, 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 I'll pick the green camel. And then I got over here, and I'm like, oh, crud. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I, I should have totally guessed that you would have picked Pillars of the Earth. So I should have. But like I said, I, I went down the, the kids' game route, and I couldn't get back from that. So Yeah. All right, it's, folks. It's Ooh, I'm blind. Woo. Yeah, I'm telling you, these lights are really bright when you're not looking at them. So what I did, I grabbed all my pieces, and I hid them in here, because okay. you never move these. <laughs> Okay, folks. So tray. what's going to happen now is we're going. Rebecca's going to go away. Bye, all. With her mask, Bye. and I'm Farewell. going, and we're going to do a a, a little intermission here. Hopefully, this will work for you. And we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. I'm going to scurry about and gather up games, but enjoy the the intermission. Lieutenant Thomas, said, please scan the planet. Scanning, sir. It is a Class L planet, circling a G-type star, and appears habitable. Interesting. That sounds very familiar. Did we have a transporter accident on that planet? Sir! Klingons on the starboard bow! Starboard bow! Starboard bow, sir! They are hailing us. Here's Star Trek Fleet Captains in under a minute. Star Trek Fleet Captains is a two-player game pitting the Federation against the Roman Empire. Klingon, sir. We have 
cool little hero click ships that that uh, change as you take damage you will go out and you will explore spaces and you will encounter pulsars empty space planets and all kinds of crazy nebulas eventually you will encounter the enemy and have epic battles of epicness the goal of the game is to get a certain number of victory points in this case it's set up for 10 you're trying to get 10 victory points before your opponent gets 10 victory points how do you get victory points you might ask there's three ways you can complete missions Missions are, are influence, science, and combat type missions. The victory points are at the bottom. You can also kill your enemies. Get victory points that way. You can also get victory points for building space stations. Who wouldn't want to build a space station? Starbase, sir. And that's Star Trek Fleet Captains in under a minute. So, Rebecca, why do you love Star Trek Fleet Captains? I love it because it is one of our best go-to two-player games. It is Star Trek in a box. You are going through and literally exploring strange new frontiers and meeting new civilizations, battling the enemies. And it has the same themes. It's got characters that you can add in your deck that are from the shows. And it is just absolutely amazing. It's a dream come true for any hardcore Star Trek fan or anyone who enjoys space exploration in general. On screen, I am General Hunter Thomason of the Bortos. Why have you invaded Klingon space? Is this some kind of joke? I am Commander Hunter Thomason of the Defiant. This is Federation space. What is this? Who is this imposter? Open fire! Fire at will! <laughs> Folks, welcome to the two-player hoedown. I'm Hunter. Today we're talking about overused themes, and the theme we're talking about is farming. farming. Howie, Pa! I just came in from the harvest. We got a good crop this year. What do you got, Ma? Let me see. Well, let me see. We have some Agricola, all creatures big and small. We got us some Clans of Caledonia. We got us some Fields of Green. And we've got some, oh, heavy, heavy lifting today. Here we got some Caverna, the cave farmers, and the fields of Arl. Ooh, they has a lot of games, Ma. There are an awful lot of farming games these days. Aren't you sick of playing them? Gosh, no, I love me some farming. In fact, I got a joke to tell you how much I love farming. You hear about the chili pepper that crossed with a shovel that crossed with the terrier? No, I have not. What we happened? got a hot diggity dog! Wow. <laughs> so, viticulture is missing from this table, and there's a lot of great farming going on before you do all that wine making. Viticulture is too high for for this list. In fact, do you know what farmers say when they're milking cows? What? Utter nonsense! Wow! In all seriousness, farming games let you do something you can't do in the real world. Grow crops, raise animals, make produce. But people do those things in the real world. Salute! <laughs> so, Ma, what's your favorite farming game? Uh, Don't say viticulture. <laughs> well, let's see. Out of these, I'm going to go with the clans of Caledonia here. Of course, you picked the one hardest to get to. Uh, of course. This one, you get to raise crops and you have to watch where you grow things and you get bonuses off of what you do and your neighbors and stuff. Really like this game. It's very fun. That's Caledonia. It's all right, but my favorite form of game is viticulture. What? Cool catch raise! Just finished. All right. Mine aren't as big and as clunky as Rebecca's. So I don't know how exciting it's going to be for you guys. Let me go get Rebecca. I'll be right back.
already time to be blindfolded yes. to come in? Yes. To come in, I have Yes, I have games scattered everywhere. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold up. Make sure I'm here, unmuted. Here, here I I know. She's taking her time, folks. I'm not taking my time. I just got to make sure. Uh, blindfolds on. Okay. Here she comes. Here she comes. I'm scared. Miss America. Miss America? Uh -huh. No, not really. I don't want to stub my toe. You're not going to stub your toe. There's the chair right here. Oh. Hi. Hello there. Let me get centered. Go, go. I, how will I know if I'm centered? Go towards the table. All right. Close enough for government work. Am I centered? All right. Let's make sure this everybody... This like the center. All right, we're on. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get it started. That's I told them weird. that my, my pieces are much smaller than yours. Oh, jeez. So. Really? All right. We're going to start it off I'm with... Let's we'll start off with the. We'll start off with this guy right here. It's kind of hard to see. But I think she's going to get it pretty quick. We'll start you off with a lightweight one. Oh, I guess I could put the coin. Put my score up. Wait a minute! What the heck? Why is it a weird shape? Oh man, you know I can mean? already tell you're going to destroy me at this. <sighs> what has a metal coin? They all have metal coins. Every blasted game we have has metal coins. This is not a metal coin though. Wait a minute, this is a shape. Why is it metal? Okay, hold up. So, dog's barking. I know, I'm uh -huh. typing something. I was putting their score up. Oh, okay, so it's... Like a. All right, see how that looks. It may take up half the screen. All right, so I'm assuming that this is upright, maybe. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, it's got okay. jaggedy bits. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I should have studied for this one. This is bad. No coin. Metal coin. All I can think of is all the metal coins in the games, not the ones that are unique. Unique metal. We have we played this recently? I don't think we have. Unless this is a first player token of some kind, but I don't remember any first player tokens in a metal. Little and it was bigger. All I can think of is a scoop of ice cream now. I'm I'm sunk, man. <laughs> like a ribbon at the bottom or a what the heck? All right, give me a clue, because I'm clearly not going to win this. Uh, how about social deduction? Oh, freak, it's a cop badge, isn't it, for yep. murder deception in Hong Kong? <laughs> I should know that right away, because I've played that so much. But you know what? I facilitate the game, so I have those in my hand. I thought that's your most played game. I figured I'd start you yeah. off with a softball. Yeah. This does not bode well. <laughs> I hope you put all your money on Team Hunter today, folks, because yeah, yeah, it's can, not uh... good for the home team. Man. You know what's sad? I haven't played that game in a year and a half. Yeah, I know. More I, than a year I, and I a half. I thought about that after I picked it. I'm like, oh, she hasn't. She hasn't. And, yeah, and I usually facilitate the game lately, so people just turn them in. All right, here's number two. Cues. Man, I'm doomed. There you go. There, oh, you're there's it number two. Whoa. Okay, so there's the base. Hold up. Okay. Clearly, okay. Okay, so it's a dude. Dude or a chick. I don't know. It's a dude or a chick. We know that much. And then it's got, okay. A base. Feels like it might be a. Why is there a knob at the top? I was gonna say an archer, but no, oh yeah, it's still kind of. What the heck? What is that? Oh wait, there's a gap there. Hold up. Oh, it's got little branchy bits. 
Is this Treebeard? It is Treebeard. Yes! Treebeard is the best! Treebeard! <laughs> Room! I am winning with you, Treebeard, that I... Man, you feel really weird. Alright, here's oh. the next one. Okay. I guess you can't really just try it sideways. I don't know if you guys can see I can't it. believe I got Treebeard. After missing Deception Murder in Hong Kong. Oh! This is the base for... Oh, freak. You put a... You put a dice in it, I think. Is this Coimbra? Yes, it is. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm not... Uh, so we, she's at five now? Yes. Let me go update the score. I'll give you... Oh, you're putting scores in? Making it all fancy? This one? Oh, I gotta show it to everybody. Yeah, show it to everybody. Oh, jeez. Oh! <gasps> Wait a second. I'm pretty sure that's a dinosaur tail. What is it? Sphere. There. What are you at? You're at five? All right. Five. Why does this feel funky? Okay, let's see. There it goes. I think it's like this. I think this is... I'm going to go with Dinosaur Island. You are correct. Yes! Now, I've played with these pieces a lot, so they feel they feel like that plastic... And that, that's definitely their little tails. Oh my gosh. Alright, she's at seven. I love this. I love this! Okay. You're right, when you're able to focus in on the one piece, something about it does make it somewhat easier, because you you don't have the clutter you have to sort through, right? Of all, all right, the other we're cranking it up a notch. This was going to be a little, little tougher, I think. Oh, I'm sure it will be. I can't imagine I, I would keep a streak like that. That's there you go. Two in a row. Or three in a row. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so it feels like it has feet. So you're at nine now? Nine. I don't know. Yeah. What the heck? It feels like it has feet. I feel like it stands this way, and you guys are probably snickering at me at home. So I don't think they can see it. I'm sure they can. I'm wearing a... Uh, dark colored shirt that should unless it's the same color as my shirt it should stand out I feel like it well hold up or could it stand up this is a broad flat surface on the bottom here that may not be a tail that may be the base of it right okay so thinking that way if we think about it that way and it's like that Switching out some. Now, did you do the same thing as this is a piece that you, you is essential to the game? Like, yes. it makes the game stand out? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It's got a lot of little ridges. Swapping some bigger pieces out. I picked a lot of small pieces. Oh, that's okay. Oh, this has got such a funky... I wish I knew. Okay. So it's got... Gosh, it's got all these ridges. Okay. I'm pretty sure that given all the weird shapes and stuff, I don't think I think it I think it sits like this. I think it actually sits like this. It feels feels steady. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. Okay, that being said. Is that a, oh, it's only got Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's got this. And then it curves around. What is this? This has a groove here. This is all rounded at the bottom. What is this? That one's a tough one. All right. Um, I, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to have a clue for this one. There's just no way. Um, let's see. What would be a good clue? I feel like I should know this stuff. Ridges in between here. How about I'll use it for the clue? Let's go with curiosity. Uh, oh, is this the cat lady, the the cat marker? Is that your guess? Well, I'm I'm guessing cat lady. Nope. It's a rover from Terraform. Uh, Terraform uh, on Mars. Oh, that curiosity. On what? Mars is a rover. It is. It is a rover. 
You guys can't see my expression. It's one of complete. This is the bottom where the wheels are. Oh, that is the bottom, the flat part. Here's okay, his so little claw sticking out. Oh, he's got a little. Okay, so he does and have. And then a he has a little head here. I don't know if I've ever played or touched that piece. We use the rovers to move all over the place, all over the board to oh, build. Oh, it's the on Mars one. On Mars, yes. I was thinking terraforming Mars. On Mars. Okay. Did I say on terraforming Mars? Mars? No, I think you said on Mars, and I was just thinking terraform on Mars. All right, here's, okay, that, here's, that an, here's your next not, one. Oh, my gosh. Here's your next one. twice. That is nonsense. Man. All right, here it is. No clue. Oh, this is uh, uh, Elysium. Yep. Yeah, I love these. So these are, are cool. So she's at 11. Is that right, folks? I don't know. I suck at this. I, don't know. I, think, I, did, I think I went a little harder than you did. Really, honestly, the only way we could do this to make a fair score, uh -huh. and we might do it, well, I don't know who we'd have to invite a special guest or oh, something. Oh, have a third party? Have them? a third party pick the same, and we do it independent of each other. It's the only way you could legitimately do the eh, scores, yeah, right? that's true, that's true. We can't even let the kids do it, because the kids would be boogers. They'd be like, well, and, <laughs> and they don't necessarily know what's a unique piece or not, right? That's true, that's true, too. All right. So what color is this one? Yellow. Oh, you didn't pick green like I did. No, I, I learned from your Actually, mistake. Actually, no. No, is what is it? It's blue and red and yellow, I think, in that game, right? Blue, yellow, red. Oh, no, I think there is a green. There is a green. Yeah, there is a green in that. All right. Never mind. I was so like, you, ha, ha, couldn't. Oh, you've done. You've done. <sighs> what am I missing? Oh, here's your coin, bro. Because you missed. You got one point on one, and you got no points on another. Yeah. So you, I'm missing a piece. Did I flick it too far to bounce off the table or something? I don't know where it went. Huh. Well, what does it matter? Move us forward. Is the score right, folks? She had 11? That can't be right. One, two, three, four. I should have seven pieces that you've done. Huh. Is she at 11? Huh. I, I would assume so. I think I've only done six pieces, but you should be... What am I missing? Oh my gosh. This is why you write this stuff down. Yep. <laughs> Consult the list. One. Two. Um, let's see. So what do you guys think? I can't see the chat right now, but I'll I'll look One, at it later. What do you guys two, think of our intermission show that Hunter picked two, out? Was that amusing? I hope that amused one, you. We had a blast looking at One, two. That stuff. It was pretty fun. Three. Did you show one or two episodes? Two. Nice. Three, four, five. I'm very confused. I don't know how she could have 11. It's so weird. Maybe I gave you points when you shouldn't have gotten points. I don't know. So you did that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, you should be at nine. Okay. You should be at nine, not 11. I don't know how. I gave you points twice, I guess. Two, four. Six. I gave you too many points. And I got one, and then have another one apparently. Three, yeah. Two, You're at nine. I got four right and one half right. Correct. Okay. And missed one completely. Yeah. All right. That sounds. Horrible. We're good. We're caught up now. Here we go. Here's the next one for you. Okay. Here it is, folks. Oh, geez. Oh, it's an arch. Okay, so it's an arch. What was that game? Oh, what was that game? We had a game with arches. You had to put an arch. Oh, crud. We played it fairly recently, I believe. Oh, Snapola. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I told you this was going to happen, guys. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> and if I recall, these were fairly difficult to achieve because you don't put a lot on there. He put is it is it Yamatai? Is that your guess? Sure, because no, it's not it's, Yamatai. It's not Yamatai. It's um the other game. It's the one that we actually you want a clue fairly recently. Sure, because I know it's an arch. I just one of your favorite games. That's not helpful. One of your all-time favorite games. <laughs> Still not helpful. Um, dude. I don't put arches in that game. I don't put arches in that. I, I, 
I told you I'd screw this game up. I don't know. You don't have any clue? <laughs> no. How about if I say Stefan Fell? Oh, Trajan? Yes. Freak. Freak, freak, freak. <laughs> <sighs> the Arch in... Oh. Yes, Arch and Trajan. This is the one I thought. This is the one I was talking about when it said that there's games that have very similar pieces. But that feels completely different it does. than that palace. It does. You're full of garbage. All right, here's your next one. That is some trash. That is not the piece I'd pick for Trajan. What would you have picked? I don't know. I'd that's that's the it. most standout piece that's for the Trajan. Most stand well, that's the thing. That's like uh, my game that I had picked was Power Grid. And you guys know all the pieces in Power Grid. Oh, this is um, Suro. Yep. Suro. Yeah, Power Grid has... All the pieces when you look at them and the colors and stuff, you're like, oh, this is clearly. Think if you look at the bits, it. it looks like power. I don't think right? you can see that. But if you, um, you pull one of those pieces out and l actually look at them, they're all like such generic pieces. There was no way I was. Gonna all right, here we go. A piece of power grid out. You're finishing with fi finishing with the easy ones. Oh, is this Honey Buzz? Honey Buzz. Yeah, yeah. this has a very unique gummy texture to it. Very unique gummy texture. All right, here's the pe there's the last one. I like that. I like that. Last one. I love, I love the way Oh, what have feels. I done? I could play with this. Forever. I reset it somehow. That's weird. What, what reset what? The green screen reset. That What's was cool. That, that was actually kind of cool. It's, it, it fixed itself. It just kind of turned off for a second. Oh, okay. Here we go. Last one. Oh, nuts. So you see so you got one, three, oh. five, Wait a second. Seven, nine, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this Uncle Wiggly? <laughs> did you pick a piece of Uncle Wiggly? I did pick a piece from Uncle Wiggly. <laughs> I was like, it's either that pi One, rum two, and pirates, three, and I was like, four, wait a second. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I got nine, uh, ten. Uncle Wiggly. So you got two. I can look now? Yes. Two, oh, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifth. No. You can get that one at all. Uh-uh. 15. 15 points. 15 is your final score. This is a garbage piece, I would like to say. You want to redo? Garbage. You want to redo? Garbage. No, it's okay. I'm still mad at you, though. <laughs> 17 to 15, folks. That was pretty... That was tough. That was tough. It depends on the pieces. There we go. Final that score. That was tough. Here, hop up, hop up, <laughs> hop up, you know. I need arch support? Uh, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd get Trajan right off the bat. No. Because you use that piece all through, through the you entire do, game. You do, but you know what? I don't play with this piece. Yeah. I just, yeah. Because it has to stay in one spot. It's marking yeah. a location, right? Yeah. Are you bringing my chair in? Yes, I am. Why, thank y'all. Why, thank y'all. Trade you. All right. All right. There you go, folks. <laughs> So that was a blasty blast. You want to click off the score thing now that we it's been up long enough, I think. Where is it at? The very top text where it says text. Click the little thing. This here? Yep. Perfect. There we go. Look at you. That's me. All right, folks. So th there were people asking at the very beginning about um, the t-shirts. Oh, yeah. So uh, down in, I think I'm putting it in, in all our videos. Actually, this one won't have it. I'll add it to this video because I copied the previous one we did. Uh, we have t-shirts for sale over on geekygoodies.com. Uh, just go to ge geekygoodies.com and look for the Family Showdown. It'll be under uh, Partners, I think, is the drop-down in the Family Showdown. We got t-shirts and a mug. Um, that's all we're going to have for now. And if we sell more, um, they'll expand it. I, they, uh, Chris, the, the owner, uh, said that he wanted to do uh, like sayings. Like we can do punitation and attacky and cool catchphrase and stuff like that eventually but uh, i think he wants to kind of stagger uh new stuff if we get new stuff but all the proceeds our proceeds that we would get from these sales we're going to give to charity to the jack basil memorial auction jack basil memorial auction memorial fund yeah jack memorial. basil memorial, memorial fund, fund that is it and i'll put a link for that as well it's just jackbasil.org i believe is the, the website <laughs> They're asking for about that. our current shirts as well you guys are dorks. What's okay. that? They're also asking about our current shirts. Oh, uh, mine is a uh, mine is a uh, false con. The last convention we went before the great, um, the great shutting down, of great the shutting Earth. down of the world. False con. That was actually in late February, wasn't it? Yep. Of twenty twenty. So we're we're every timers to false con. We've been every one. I think there's been five or six. We've been every one of those. Yep. And I have no idea. Hers is a penguin and a toga. Mine is, this is our mask, our school um, chapter, JCL's mascot, Johan. My students designed the t-shirts. 
um, a couple years ago. So it is our, it was a kind of like prototype shirt with our stuff on it. Yeah, I switched some out because I thought it would be too hard. <laughs> what do you think you would have gotten these? There's this one. Oh my god! Do you even know what game that's from? If you look at it and don't know it, you've never gotten it. Blindfolded. I would not have That's why it. I swapped it's, it out. Uh, it's not tapestry. It's um, the other one that has the buildings, and you have to unlock them. And you put... What's the name of that game? I would not have gotten this. Gaia Project. Gaia Project. Thank you. Well, see, I blinked on one of my favorite games, So I guys. swapped that one out, and there no, was this guy, that. which I thought would be too hard. Oh, uh, that's Scoville. Yeah, but would you but have gotten it, would though? Would I have gotten it? Maybe. I might have gotten this and one. And then I had this guy. Which I'd be too hard to see on camera. But is it? Little... Oh, Bunny from Bunny Kingdom? <laughs> yeah. I thought about putting that game in for you. Yeah. So I would have gotten, yeah, I would have gotten that. I can yeah. feel it. It, yeah. it has a distinct feel to it. The plastic does. Yeah, too. it's a little past. No, it. this guy, these two really threw me for a loop. And this, yeah, is the badge. And it's funny when I see it now, for some reason, I always picture the badge for this game looking like the old badge. And the old cardboard badges are a completely different shape to the metallic ones. And for whatever reason, even though I play with these, the kids are the ones playing right. with these, right? I didn't and think so that you I probably had I, I don't handle these much except when I'm collecting them. So I don't, I don't mess with them much. I don't play with them. Because um, I also am afraid I'll give away tails or something when I'm standing there trying to facilitate. This is fun. This is, this fun. is super fun. And I love these. Like, this has, feel these. If you have Dinosaur Island, they, the plastic feels distinctive. Like, yeah. besides the shape, the, the plastic feels different. You almost got me, man. I, 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 if, and it's, I funny, it's funny you said, oh, I feel branches. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as it did that, I was like, it's got to be it's got to be tree beard. Because at first it felt like there was a bow here, like it was one of the archer yeah. pieces. But you keep going and you're like, okay, there's no head. I figured head. it was pretty distinctive. I was distinctive. like, there's no head. It's really weird. But yeah, it's a tree beard. He's cute. And then Uncle Wiggly. That was pure childhood memories right there because it's not like we play this a lot. I was like, what is this shape? That's the most misshapen rabbit. A little top hat. His little rump sticks out and his knees are bent forward. He's a goofy little. Yeah, the top hat is what did it for me. I was like, ah. So I subbed in. I subbed this in Elysium. Cool, like Parker Brothers piece. I don't know. It's funny how you can feel the difference. For the ones I, I, I axed, I subbed in Elysium and Soro and Honey Buzz. You got all those up super fast. Mm hmm. Yeah, because again, there's something about, okay, this one, the, the shape. This is the shape and the texture. The texture of this is fantastic. I just love this. You could play with those little gummy pieces all day long. And this, of course, the only, only other game I could think of that has something, you put something like that, was Bunny Kingdom when you yeah. plant the other thing. And I was like, nah, this is square. This is the, yeah, it's where different. you put the dice. It's different. That one's, yeah. that one's different. It's interesting when you don't have the distraction of the other pieces in the game and you're not trying to synthesize all of it together. You are focusing more on this item and the details. And it does... Almost make that easier, I think. Yeah, I'm you really blew my theory because several of these you thought you figured out after a little while. All of mine mm -hmm. I instantly knew or didn't know. Yeah, no, sometimes I have to process. But I, I swear to you, my brain's wired differently than a lot of people's because it just stuff like Oh, the that. guild's missing too in the description? I'm using the older video, so maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll put, we'll make sure to. I'll update all the, the description <laughs> stuff like that. You know, I thought about Bonfire Yoda. I did. What were you put? Bonfire Yoda? A little Yoda little, guys. That would little, be so hard. Though. That's. I thought that would be. Too I, I stayed away from. And I was like, oh, that's too. This one. This I one. Now that I think small. about it, really staying away from any of the meeples shape type things are are going to be yeah, hard. Yeah, they're, they're tough. But then again, I mean, here's the other thing too, though. I almost didn't do this one because the domes and and Terraforming Mars. Santorini has Santorini some has toppers. domes too. Um, but this one just has that, a distinct feel to it. Yeah, it feels, the upgraded. It, that's it, an upgraded bit. It feels different. Little domes. Feels um, different. Yeah. No, the domes are standard. Are they? Yeah. Are they standard? Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. But see, and I, I, I was afraid because I didn't know how easy or hard this would be to figure out. But yeah, you can feel the sticker. I almost you feel did that it's on there. Oh, but the shape is very distinct. The shape is distinct. Like it's interesting that the pieces, and again, like Hunter did, he gets all mad. He's like, "What is this?" Because I handed him a card. There's only one game that has cards like That's this. That's a very distinct shape, this and it's plastic-coated. It's, yeah. it's very, very The unique. same thing with this. If you played Stained Glass of Sintra, you know that... The pointy have, bit at the, the bottom. The pointy bit at the bottom is you have these all lined up, and you flip them over yeah. as you're getting the pieces. 
Did yeah, I thought first, like, what is this? This could be a thousand things, and then it I got, could be. got that pointy bit at the bottom. This little shape. Here. Otherwise, I, I could have handed you little, any little kind of cardboard bit, right? Oh, little shape at the bottom. Ah, oh, I can attack her back. Trying to bite me. Ah. Okay. So, so. <laughs> All right, folks. Wanting skits again, huh? Skits again. Yeah. When I was what we watched all our uh, well, so, so the intermission. Let me talk about that briefly. Yeah. Some of you might not know us from Board Game Blender. Watching this, it was a show on the Dice Tower. It's it stopped about two or three years ago, but we put we did it for almost a year and a half straight, and then we kind of staggered off yeah, right got, at the end. But got crazy. Um, I was loading them on the channel. I loaded the first thirty or forty that we did. They're all on our channel. So if you look them up, look up Board Game Blender on our channel. And you'll find there's 30 or 40 of them loaded out there. But they were getting so few views, I stopped loading them. And uh, I was looking for something to do for the intermission. I'm like, oh, there's some Blender episodes we haven't loaded on the channel. So I went through and picked my favorites of the ones we haven't loaded yet. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, I thought about doing some kind of comp compilation video of all of them. Kind of do like sets of 10 maybe because we've done, I think we did like 50 or 60 of them. Yeah. But yeah, those were fun. They were, But they were so much work. There were I mean, a lot of work. They were a build. lot of work. Um, it's t a two-minute video, but... Spend two or three hours making them. You spend two or three hours making it mostly because we have to decide what we're going to say and how. Because especially with editing, some of it we did sound over video and, and vice versa right. and stuff. And you had to time it and do all sorts of craziness. And, and I mean, some of it we can fix with editing. Editing makes that a lot easier. But right. a lot of our stuff was timed. We had to do certain things at certain timing. and Right. That was just our the way we did it. It was fun. It was fun. To do it, was good. fun and it was it only was, once every two weeks. So we had two weeks to do it, which was nice. That helped. And it was just, it was really hard uh, to schedule during the school year. It just made it really hard. <laughs> so, and it was hard on Hunter, I think, too, because Hunter ended up taking the bulk of the work more and more because of that, which stunk. It so, was a lot of work to edit those videos. It is. It's a lot. And what it's, now I can help you with that stuff. I think so. And we weren't near as... as oh, we weren't nearly as good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, doing it, it. And we, we were much newer, recording our sound really. separate from the video, so I had to sync those up, which was a pain. And yeah. there was a lot of, a lot of work involved yeah, we were in noobs. That. We learned a lot. It was a, a very huge learning experience. It was pretty awesome. But yeah, a lot of work. Top 10 Blender episodes with the video. Yeah. That'd be fun. Um, I thought I saw another question. <laughs> Play Shakespeare. Right on, Nathan. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, I got my shelf of throw throw games away in six Which months. Which I don't recall Vikings Gone Wild being in that. I think you yeah, just was. stuck that there. It was one of the ones that six six. No, because uh, I love that game. That was not even a. I'm not even mad about that. I was like, I loved that game. Um, I put it in the throw away section. Uh huh. See what I have to do with. Well, it? if you love it so much, we'll play it again, and your love for it will will, will bleed over to me, and I'll tolerate I it. I thought it did last time, but apparently not. I mean, we need to smack you over the head with it like Ugtech. Watch out. I don't make it. Is it on our, I think it's on our one plate list. Ugg Tech? No, uh, Vikings Gone Wild. Oh, not for me. I've played it several times. Oh, have yeah. You? Yeah, because I first oh, played it at the convention. Oh, that's why it's not on the list. I've only played it once. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll play it again. All right, see. folks. So, and then, um, what were you going to say? Um, oh, you already talked about the t-shirts, right? So we're good on t-shirts. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Nope. Were there any other questions? Did I miss any questions? Because I know I was also blindfolded for half of it. I thought I snagged all the questions I saw in the chat while we were sitting here, though. If I missed any, repeat them real quick. Um, I was trying to catch them while we were chatting. All right. So one week from tonight, yes. um, if we're going to do our variety show. It's going to be mostly talking about games because I think we're probably going to have... 20 to 30 games to talk about. So the vast majority so of the show will be talking so about games we've played. So bring on your lists. Bring your plague lists. And uh, we're going to talk about that. And then we would, whatever time left, we'll do some other stuff. We'll do our normal, uh -huh. our normal shenanigans. That was the other one. I, I did see that one, Nathan. They want to do over. They want to see us play Dune Imperium <laughs> badly. So let me let me go into that in a little more detail. Rebecca kind of hinted around. My laptop, my I call it the Beast 2.0 because I had a... A, a beast. <laughs> I've had two alien, two Alienware computers, um, the one before this and one and this one. This one's about four years old now. And if you know anything about computers, uh, That's a dinosaur they get tech, new tech, not new tech every day. Um, it's dying. One It's probably got too much crap running in the background, and I tried. I tried to reduce it as much as I can. It's just dying. I get blue screens occasionally. It crashes occasionally. It's just it's on its last legs. Because it's been very mistreated. Uh, it's, it's been moved back and forth from room to room 
hundreds of times for filming. Um, it, it's it's basically now it's just a stream in the internet computer basically, <laughs> um, and it's just can't handle. I'm surprised it hasn't crashed having two cameras going at once. But when we did three, we tried to do three. Oh, it went. It was it was cycling between the cameras, so one camera would go down, and then as soon as I put that one up, the next camera would go down, and they would, it was just cycling between. It couldn't handle all the, I guess, the data that's running through. All those cameras are going through one USB port, and it just can't handle it. It's crashing. So uh, I bit the bullet, and I recently got a bonus from work uh, for all my wonderful work I did at work, and I bit the bullet and bought a computer that can handle it's not a gaming computer it's a, I haven't bought it this is the first non gaming computer that's I, true I, I, you haven't bought a but it, it it's designed to handle tons of data through through the ports um, it's got Thunderbolt 4 ports and those can just take an amount, immense amount of data through without problems so hopefully when that when the when once that laptop comes in it's going to come in the first week in July we'll get it we'll get all new set up and we'll be able to do live plays but right now I'm not going to suffer through doing live plays it was because brutal. it was so brutal. Because we we, we can do live plays, head. but it would be this this would be what you'd be looking at, and it's, it, you can't even tell what the game what's going on with the game without that overhead view. So as soon as the new computer is in, and I get it all set up and running and good to go, we're going to do some crazy live plays, like lots of Marathonic, live plays, baby. like a, like a uh, we'll do Actually, we'll do a whole really day fun. of live plays or something to yes. celebrate oh, to yes. celebrate the new computer. That would be so much fun. So yes. Um, I'm all over that. So I'm looking forward to that. Hey, I've got everything I need to set it up. Um, the only thing that's left that I kind of want to get, but it's kind of a, on a wish list, is get a better boom and a better overhead camera. But that's kind of a wish list for later. But once the new computer gets in, we get it up to speed. We're going to do a, a week, uh, like a Saturday, get up early Saturday and play games all the way into the evening. And yes. The, we'll have to do, we'll have to swap out mics occasionally you, to, to do it. But uh, Yeah, because these only have like an hour and a half. Two, two hours, two hours or, so. or something, um, yeah. So. so we'll have to be switching. We we'll may have to just use our, our main um, uh, blue blue snowball, whatever those mics are called. Yeti. Just have that the Yeti. <laughs> the there Yeti. You go. So the blue Yeti, there, there you go. <laughs> have that, just have that set up, and uh, that way you can run without shutting down. So that is the story on the Dune Imperium. We apologize. It's just my, oh, it my was... poor Alienware. I don't know if you... If we were using our old mic, you'd hear the fan. It's just blasting right now because it is overloaded. Yeah, it's boring. Um, and that's why the computer freezes. Um, we yeah, have, we've, we've not found only out most no, of it's Not only is it the data going through the port that's freezing it, is if the CPU gets too hot, um, the motherboard and the CPU, all that gets too hot, it the the it spikes on the on the process the background processing, and if it hits a snuff of a spike, the camera freezes. So all it takes is if it you know like goes out and looks for an update or something like that and the it and, just and it spikes it'll it'll freeze the camera. But with the new the, hopefully with the new laptop, cross your fingers, the new laptop we won't have any of those issues. Um, we looked at you looked at going into Mac, but we would have had to switch all of our. I was tech stuff strongly considering recently. getting a Mac until I found out that the new the latest generation Dell computers have Thunderbolt ports, just like the and that's the one of the big selling points for the Mac is those Thunderbolt ports mm -hmm. that that have inc incredible data transfer rates so yeah. the new one i got is uh one that has a thunderbolt 4 there's only a handful of computers that have thunderbolt 4 ports right now so i got one of those so yeah. it shouldn't be a everything should be roses and happiness once the new computer but this one is just it's on its like, last legs yeah. yeah it's had soda spilled in it and all sorts of other craziness it's just yeah you spilled it's got an inch layer time. of dust over the top of it and you don't even clean your poor baby yeah, Kabuki, I have a Lenovo that's older than that thing. What yeah. that was mine? Five, six years old now? My, yeah. my laptop? And it's a Lenovo. I don't use it for gaming much because I mostly use it for work. Hers is a and... high-end regular computer. Yeah, it's not really a gaming I'll computer. I'll tell you what, that little thing has trucked on and it's still going pretty strong, knock on wood, considering all of the school stuff I've put it through this last year with running multiple online things things i've had very few crashes with it um it's a little quirky because i made the mistake of doing uh when they first came out with windows 10 they recommended you change your windows to that and so i have some weird random updates because it's still it's not i can't like use your computer it makes me angry windows 10 yeah that it's completely set up different than oh mine. my gosh it's like not full windows 10 but windows 10 and it wants to update all the time and that part of it gets really old but 
Um, that was just my bad for choosing to do it. I was like, oh yeah, new windows. Stupid me. I should have left it alone. But um, other than that, that thing has been like a rock. Well, it's going to be nice too, so because good. I use this computer in, in my office. And so every time yeah. we film, I'm having to take the computer back and forth, back and forth, having a dedicated laptop set in here. I mean, yeah. I'll use it occasionally because yeah. it's a two in one. It's a tablet. It works as a tablet too. Oh my gosh. So I'll be using so it cool. occasionally, but it's it so made, small made and light. Sense. It's easy, portable. This thing weighs like 15 pounds. Yeah, it's, a big, big it's a big <laughs> giant beast of an Alienware. And it's just, the ports are dying from being unplugged and plugged. And unplugged well, and it and had plugged a port and, issue, that particular model anyway, with yeah, the, power, the, the power, power pack. Yeah, the power pack. Was so. weird. And it was like, uh. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're gonna upgrade and hopefully we'll be able to do because we really we were really when we got the new camera we were really excited about doing live plays with the two cameras and we just haven't been able. To we do haven't them. been able to because it fights us. Because we'll, we'll go to I'll just go to set it up to. There's several live plays that were scheduled that never <laughs> happened. Uh, I didn't actually put the you know load up the schedule. Yeah, because we just we're like we're, let's do a live play today and I start messing with the cameras and they wouldn't come on. They turn off and I'm oh. like. Well, the computer would lock that. up and I'm like, okay, we're not going to do a live play. So there was a half dozen <laughs> times we were ready to do a live play and we just never did it because I couldn't get the setup to work. So what's the top 10 list in two weeks? The top 10 list in two weeks is top 10 2020 games revisited. Oh, okay. So That's this why weekend so okay. or next weekend, uh -huh. yeah. either this weekend or next weekend, we've got to finish Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Okay. we got to bite the bullet. We next. need to do it this weekend. So. We can do it next weekend. Too. No, we can't. Well, I guess we could take it with us. Uh, oh yeah, we're camping. Yeah. Well, we better start doing like one a night. We got we're in June or July, so we're about halfway through. Oh, so we have a lot of plays. We have a left. lot of plays to play. <laughs> That's gonna be exciting. So I really, I mean, I I think we know enough about the game to rank it if we want to put it on our top ten. But I'd rather the ending of Legacy Games is so pivotal about how much you like a legacy game. That's true. If it has a, a horrible ending or whatever, it can it's gonna, spoil it's, it's the fun spoil of the, the previous. overall feel of the game, it right? It can. It can. Although that one, I don't know. It'd have to be a really terrible ending to spoil. It's been pretty I, Yeah, I've enjoyed it quite I'm a bit. I'm really enjoying it. So, when's the new computer arriving? First week in July. There you go. So, it's so the same. weekend of July 4th, if it comes on, on schedule, <laughs> um, that Saturday, <laughs> if, if I can get it set up and ready to go, that Saturday is when we, we would uh, probably do it. Excellent. So, okay, apparently Coralie was helping you with the scorekeeping because they're saying it went off the rails as soon as she quit helping you. Is that, is that oh, true? I, I, get, I don't know. <laughs> I, I lined them all up and we did the points. I remember you spending like two minutes going, you did this piece and you did this piece and you were doing like some kind of inventory thing. So that must have been when Coralou left, I'm guessing. She did 10. She got one completely <laughs> wrong and one half wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, she got two completely wrong and one half wrong. It's minus five points. <laughs> she didn't get yeah, Trajan at all. Yeah. And she didn't get, uh, what's the other one you didn't get at all? Um... You got one point for the badge, one, and you didn't get the Mars one. The so Mars was the everything Mars else she got me. perfect. She that got me. She got no points for Mars, no points for trade. No, you got trade. I'm confused. You're right. It went off the rails. <laughs> Did you? See, no, still... no you, you didn't get Trajan at all. Oh, was it Trajan? You I didn't missed get? Trajan completely. Oh, okay. You missed Mars completely. Yeah. And you minus one point. Oh for yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. That's what you got all the one, other I, ones I right. I nailed everything else. I have that. So minus five I have points. That. Yeah. And I missed. Uh, Pillars of the Earth completely, and I got half credit for Ticket to Ride. Yeah. And I got all the oh, other ones right. There you go. So yeah. there you go. There you the go. The points are right. Spoilers. The points People are right. The points are right. <laughs> Statler and Waldorf. Oh, goodness. We'll have a safe trip, Zeris. All right. <laughs> I think that's it, folks. Uh, I'm yep. glad the computers cooperated with us, <laughs> right? Because we are running two cameras. We're running two cameras. Woo! I know. That, why did you jinx us like that? <laughs> We're like, hey, thanks for playing. Crash. Computer has the last. But the day. this is a this is a just a, a little webcam. The other ones, the other ones, the <laughs> ones that's doing the, the data like crazy. Yeah, the webcam isn't eating a lot. Well, of and doesn't data. help that that's our old camcorder. That's why I want to replace that. That one's almost dead. We just about killed the ports in that one. I still want to know what happened. I'm guessing the cat knocked that over. While something it was happened. In the two the, the power supply and the, the batteries and it the eats batteries. It's always eating batteries, remember? Yeah, and the power supply and the uh, the uh, <laughs> what's my Google the uh, the, port the data the data yeah. port yeah. both of those are you touch it and it falls out. Yeah, that's it's how really beat weird. up those are. So I really want to get an, another good camera for overhead, but the boom arm we have won't hold a heavy camera, so we'd have to get a better arm 
Yeah. To do it. Yeah. So that's the next investment. I like this. The neutral says the more that we purge, the better we'll get at this game. <laughs> we're down to like we have ten games, guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, since we're since we're going over and just chit chatting. Yeah. I am thinking. Now this is uh, there's uh, no pro, no what? promises here. I'm thinking. Okay. I'm going to inventory all our cold games. Okay. And we have some commission games from Gaming Wife that we're selling as well. Okay. Um, making a spreadsheet of all of them, pricing them. Okay. And putting them on our guild and offering to sell them to everyone. Ooh. And if you're a fan of the channel, we know you. We may give you a discount off of the game. Yeah, I was going to say if you're a regular. But paper, I have to look check. into, I've never shipped games before, so I have to look into Cost. boxes, shipping costs, packing costs, and all that sort of. I know nothing about mm -hmm. any of that stuff. I'm usually just lazy and just take them all to convention and sell them all at once in one big shot. <laughs> this is a lot of games but to this do is that like, with. The games are starting to pile <laughs> no up. No discounts? We, we've got, we've got um, I want to okay. guess we got a, with, with the commissioned games, we probably have 150 games for sale, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's a lot to haul into BGG. And I, yeah, I really don't want to roll into BGG with a, a car load of, uh, actually more, more like a truckload of games. To sell, um, but that, that's I will. true too, Nathan. For you local types, we could just meet at Madness or something. And that, that's that, totally cool too. That'll save everybody. That's, money. That was going to be my next thing. If, anyone, local if anyone's local, fairly local, and wants to meet vaccinated. up at a ma at Madness, we could do do a swappy swap. Yep, yep. And we could play the game. We could teach you how to play the game. <laughs> well, and that's something we were talking about too, Zaris. Is the um, the buyer pays the shipping? And well, yeah, yeah. So but I'd have to. I don't know. We, I, I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't even know how to go calculate that amount. I mean, I guess well, I, could, I, mean, I, I, mean, I could go, I could go that, to UP, but... the, the, the postal service yep. website, but then boxes and packing. I don't even know what uh, you include. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I don't know nothing. Can... I've never shipped a game before. So I They've got know. flat rate and stuff like that. Yeah. Too, so. so, yep. I can help you with that part a little bit. And for so. those that are overseas, I, I assume it's cost prohibitive to, to ship games to people overseas. Mm. But I guess I can give you a, a rate and if it's worth it, maybe. It's yeah. A, is an unavailable game or out of print game, maybe it's worth it to pay the crazy shipping. <laughs> Nathan, that sounds like some kind of black market stuff. Yeah. I purchased games in the parking lot of Madness. <laughs> <laughs> they pull up, they pop your trunk. Hey, what, buddy, you want some hey, games? Hey, you want some games? <laughs> hey, little kid. <laughs> hey, kids. <laughs> you got some games. Got some games for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, oh that's gosh, a, that's a, it. that's a project to, to catalog all those games. And so, then, in other words, we can only meet at like midnight. Yeah, dark flashlights. <laughs> flashlights. You got the goods. Who are you? <laughs> What's your YouTube username? <laughs> <laughs> first game is free. <laughs> yeah, first game's free. First game's... Hand him a little card game. First game's free, kid. <laughs> All right, well, this is oh fun, folks. You guys uh, are awesome. Again, we're not going to, don't plan on, no live plays, unfortunately, until July. But we'll keep doing our Tuesday show. It seems like just running, not running that extra camera overhead. It's, it seems it's, to be working. It seems to be working. But yeah, it's. I was literally having to unplug and replug in cameras to get them to re re reload and re find them. Basically, the computer just loses <laughs> track of them, so I have to unplug them. But then when I plug one in, the other one shut no, off, man. and I switched and I switched it again. And they would both be on for a second. And then they both shut off. It was just, it was just. It's and just, it's not like this is an instant thing. It takes a couple minutes for your computer to load up anymore. So we yeah. wait a couple minutes for it to do that. Oh, it was exciting. And that's another thing is that when I have to reboot and when it freeze, it takes yeah five minutes now for my computer to to reboot. When it used yeah. to reboot in about fifteen seconds, yeah. it's just it's just on its last legs. <laughs> it's just on its last legs. Yep. Driver shenanigans. Yeah, Kabuki. It's a it's a goodie. Yeah. Um. So Coralou mentioned that you might want to group them into like rough price ranges and just take pictures and post them on the guild or something so you have like this is this you know no i was gonna i was gonna do a, a google sheet oh okay and give you guys the link to the sheet and i'm very i'm very specific in damages and missing things oh when, and when if I, we've, when, got, we've I, got inserts and stuff in a lot of them too yeah so I'm, i'll put all the ones. details like this game got a little ding i mean i'm very specific when i sell games about what's going on yeah. with the box and i try to take care of 90 percent of the inserts are trashed and and uh, the inserts are trash. Oh, the original, original inserts, inserts the are original gone. Original inserts are garbage. We, yeah, you, you watched this. And I live. put that too, like no, no insert in the box and stuff like that. Yeah. Autographs are no sale. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> we can autograph. That's fine. If you're that, if you're that, cra- if, if you're that crazy, we write. I'll write you a little story. Oh, Once no. Once upon a time. You write, like, a Dixit story in there. The Dixit story? Yes, yeah, write a random Dixit story. You know how you can give clues that can be either long or short? Yeah. It's funny in Dixit. What I do for Dixit is I tell this long story. And, that then, has no and the last sentence is the actual clue. And it has nothing to do, do with, with the story. story. That'd be really good. You've done that. <laughs> I do game, it all the actually. time. Yeah. I'd be like, you know, so-and-so <laughs> goes to the store and goes shopping and, find, and buys some, some, some oranges and takes them home to her children. The children love the oranges. And then it'd be like laundry. <laughs> One word laundry at the end of that. It's like, ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. All right. All right, you guys. You guys are wonderful. It's so great to catch up. So one week here. from tonight, shenanigans. We're going to talk about, I, I'm guessing by the time we roll around, it's going to be 30 games we're going to talk about. <laughs> at least. 30 games to talk about. So that's going to be the pretty so much the exciting. whole show. I know. It's going to be a blast. I love catching up on you guys' playlist, too, because you guys always have really interesting takes and interesting games. So All right. We're out of here, folks. Have a good, good one. Take care, peeps. We'll see you next week. See you soon. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a like. Click subscribe to join our wonderful viewer community. Want to be notified when we upload a new video or go live? Click on the little bell below.